Saw a tow truck. <clears throat> I didn't know if they were going to try to tow me. I don't know if you saw that or not but that's the reason I don't ride road bikes and it's kind of weary about even practicing that here on the side of this road the guy trying to teach his wife how to drive she would have took me out if I had been there I think she was trying to turn down the freaking bicycle trail so be careful out there folks all right party people back to practicing looks like the rain may have subsided for a bit so Hopefully I capture some footage. I'm not very good yet. But the only way to get better is practice. The one coming down the, the corner there is probably the best one I've had this practice for sure. Sometimes they click, sometimes they don't. It's still tough. When the speed, I'm still scrubbing too much speed with the brake. And once you slow down, it's all about balance for sure. There's nothing really rotating to keep you up. And my hips have not got loosened up. And the muscle memory neurons are just not there yet. The connection on what to do. I can hit it about one out of every eight or nine times and also the other problem I have too is just getting up to the balance point a lot of times I'll veer off to the left or to the right so I'm starting to try to take notice of that but throw a knee out to whatever side I need to wait but uh yeah I don't expect I'll be learning how to manual in uh, a few hours. It's going to take, my guess is it's probably going to take more than 40 hours. It's probably going to take 80 to 100, judging by the progress I've made so far. But we'll keep at it. And I'll try to keep sharing what I learned through the process with you guys. And then obviously the key is going to be transferring that to a full suspension bike, which I'm less, I'm less more, I'm less worried about that because I think and once you've got that uh, hip motion down, you know, it's just a matter of just either exaggerating it or whatever. So, it's been just bad, so we'll keep working at it. <sighs> that was okay to be on a flat surface. Bad. I can do better. The one thing I do is uh, I like that curve back there. That curve actually taught me how to loosen up my hip enough to get the uh, get my knee out while hanging on. So now I try to start. I either try to ride through it or 
start one in that curve too depending on where I go down so I think it's actually helped me out so those of you guys practicing at home don't be scared to try to hit a curve because I think that feeling allows you to lean out a little bit you can lean over and just kind of hammer on it and then one day it magically clicks hopefully that soon who knows Did you see a tow truck down there? No. no? Okay, good. Well, one. Well, one came by. Oh, nah, I didn't see anything. So how far do you ride? I'm just practicing up and down this little stream right here. Have you seen those trails down there? Yeah. I do, I do regular mountain biking. This is not the right bike, but... Oh. Yeah, I like it. I don't I have go the right all bike over. for it. I took this over just one time just to see if I killed myself. Yeah. <laughs> this tires are a little too oh, slick. yeah, no question. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Have a good one. Wave at the camera down there. Uh, just, <laughs> actually probably one of the best days of practice out here weather's phenomenal no sun in your eyes somewhat dry Not a lot of people out yesterday there was a ton of people out because of the holiday i'm gonna have to stretch really good after this i do like a quad stretch hamstring stretch hip flexor stretch flex uh shoulder and lat stretch and then uh I do a couple uh hip gate stretches that help help me uh loosen up my hips so i'm always in pain because i'm always trying to push how far i can go as far as flexibility because i was so bad at one time with all this poor poor form weight training and poor form everything pretty much injuries getting better though getting better that's all that counts getting better don't hold your breath why am i holding my breath <laughs> yeah boy I like those hills. I just wish that was my land. I'm getting tired. I practiced for about an hour and a half yesterday and it wore me out. <clears throat> Give it a few weeks. I'll be adjusted. I won't even be able to tell I'm putting effort into it. Just gotta be patient. Practice and be patient. I'm doing the same thing I noticed when I uh, started learning how to wheelie. You actually overcompensate your movement. So you go from going on one side, swinging back to the other, like a pendulum. But over time you learn how to make smaller movements. So. The other thing I can tell you too, the higher you get the manual up, the easier it is to control the side to side. But it's less stable too. So pick your poison. I try to do varying heights. If I'm going real fast, I'll keep the low end, the front a little bit lower 
because you got that uh, gyroscopic rotation of the wheels kind of keeping you balanced. But as I slow down, I'll try to pull it back up a little bit because it's just easier to balance. Of course, my mind may change tomorrow, you know, based on what I learned. So just take this with a grain of salt. This is what I'm observing today as I practice. And uh, when I was learning how to fakey, or at least starting to learn how to fakey, I figured out that I didn't know what I didn't know in the beginning. And so it felt one way, but actually ended up, I needed to do the other thing. So I'm just throwing observations out there as I learn. And once I get it to a point where I think it's good enough where I can maybe go out to a pump track and manual around a pump track or whatever then I can give you some advice but right now it's just it's just observations because I don't know how myself so <clears throat> but I can tell you this just after three hours of practice it's starting to click a little bit I wanted to take that turn. Right, guys that'll do it for this one uh, particular session so I've practiced about three hours this week and uh, I can definitely tell I'm getting a little bit better it's gonna take quite a few hours to get good at this but I'm in it for the long haul hope you guys enjoyed the session I guess is you know when will week two come and how much progression will I make between week one and week two we shall see got a couple business trips coming up so I won't get a whole lot of time to practice maybe on the weekend if it's not raining uh, so we'll see you guys do me a favor if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel Click the big old thumbs up down below. Let me know you like the content Share the link with your friends all that kind of YouTube jazz that everybody always says The most important thing is you watch the video and maybe you pick up something from it and Maybe you don't maybe you get a big chuckle out of watching, you know, some dude trying to learn how to manual it You know almost 47 years old. I don't know Maybe that's funny to some people. I kind of find it funny myself. So anyhow, you guys know what to do. Till next time, skill up and ride.